Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ayala. Today we're gonna to be talking about rhinoplasty. I'm gonna take you through the indications for rhinoplasty, some of the preoperative, intraoperative, postoperative steps related to rhinoplasty. This will answer some of your questions and you'll see me and hear me repeating these during our consultations. First of all, most people who are interested in rhinoplasty may come because there's something about their nose that they don't like. This may be the appearance of their nose, and there may be a bump, a droopiness of the tip, or ptosis. The nose may be too wide, or it may be crooked. Something about the nose they don't like. Some people are also interested in a functional issue where they can't breathe. Their septum is deviated, their turbidates are swollen, or they've had a fracture or something in the past that causes blockage of their nose. These are various indications for a rhinoplasty. You want to take your time to decide on who your rhinoplasty surgeon should be. You want to make sure that the person is uh, specialized in rhinoplasty surgery. They've done many surgeries in the past, whether it be a plastic surgeon or facial plastic surgeon. And that they're able to sit with you, discuss what it is that you're interested in addressing about your nose, and um, go through a plan with you. In my office, what we do during our consultation is we take pictures and we'll do 3D imaging where we'll actually look at the pictures, we'll discuss the changes that you are interested in addressing, and then we'll make those changes on the 3D image so that you have an idea of what exactly your nose may look like um, according to your desires. These are not a guarantee of the results, but it's a way of us discussing what it is you're looking for and so that you can see what it is you're asking for. You will get a copy of these pictures. You'll actually be able to review them, show them to family members and decide if this is what you want to do. This is a very important part of the preoperative consultation. To understand the surgery, understand the goals of the surgery, visualize the potential outcomes of the surgery, and make your decision on whether or not you want to proceed with the surgery. 